Gary, a few months ago on a rainy morning, we, we stood outside here uh, where this place is still under construction. So a day like today, you must be very, very pleased to see the progress. Absolutely, culmination of lots and lots of work between the council, the Development Corporation, the Learning and Skills Council brought a lot of funding in. As, as you said, you know, we met here, it was a rainy day, the construction was going on. Today is the official opening, we had a fantastic turnout, all the partners, councillors, council officers, but really this is about giving young children, young people an opportunity to actually learn in Thurrock, to go from their school, to have a further education opportunity here, and further on, a higher education opportunity. So great day, I, I really am so excited about this because it's a miracle we have this. You know, it's the best thing that's happened in Thurrock for a long, long time, and really giving our young people the opportunity to get the skills locally and actually really improve their life chances. So, fantastic day. And what, what exactly is, is Thurrock Council and, and in particular your portfolio? What, what, what's their role here in regard to campus? Well, my, my portfolio is regeneration strategic planning, and this is all about um, creating real opportunity for people locally. So, the 26,000 jobs that we've talked about to bring in the opportunity to actually make sure local people benefit from those jobs that are being created. Um, we need to have the life skills and the academic skills that young people need. So this is the first step in, in terms of leading towards a much bigger learning campus here in Thurrock. This is the, the, uh, the temporary building. Um, it's opening today officially, uh, running courses in creative arts, IT, media. Longer term, as it moves forward, there'll be courses running construction, the built environment, environmental skills as well, um, and many other areas of business. Um, looking at logistics and port activities, and these are very big growth areas um, in Thurrock, as is retail with Lakeside. So young people will be able to get the kind of life-changing skills here and qualifications to enable them to really benefit from some of the great, exciting new business developments that are happening in Thurrock. And, and this is also woven into the fabric of progress regarding education and things like building schools for the future, which I believe you have good news on. We've had some very good news uh, in the last week or so. Um, Thurrock wants to, needs to desperately uh, invest in its schools, its secondary schools and primary schools locally. Some of them have been around for a long, long time. I actually went to school myself here uh, many years ago. But all those schools now, they, they do need to be rebuilt or to be refurbished. And we've got the chance to get another £180 million into the borough um, from the government to actually improve those schools. And we've moved from one of the later waves, which would have seen this starting about 2014-15, so within the next few years. It will start off at school at a time. But the big uh, opportunity is £180 million pounds potentially coming into Thurrock on top of a new learning uh, campus here, FE, further education, higher education. So you're know, going through top quality schools locally into further education, higher education, and then into jobs locally if people want to do that. And we're going to have you know, some real uh, world beating opportunities here, like to buy ports. Um, the Royal Opera House that's coming here. So Thurrock, the opportunities of people locally are absolutely uh, fantastic going forward.